Hi, Facebook. Hi, Twitter. Hi, YouTube. This is Tiffany Martinez. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Happy Saturday. Just going to wait a couple minutes to see if anyone wants to join me on my live video today. Um, I know it's the weekend and some people may be at work or possibly just out there doing what they usually do on a Saturday. I'm not going to wait too long because I usually don't wait at all. Okay. I think I waited long enough because I usually don't don't wait at all to start my videos. I usually just, just get right to the point. Um, I titled my video, um, Going Out of Business. And the reason why I entitled it Going Out of Business is because the other day when I was in Cathedral City, um, California, um, I noticed one of the stores that I used to shop at when I was a kid and actually had a job there when I was a teenager. I noticed it a long time ago that they were going out of business, but I was hoping that they were going to actually recover and that they wouldn't actually close their doors. I'm not going to say their name. I'm just going to say shoe store. But if you grew up with me, then you pretty much know which shoe store that I'm referring to because everyone I knew I went to high school with, we all shopped at that store. We all went there and, you know, love their, you know, you know, buy one, get one deals. We all wore those shoes. So, and like I said, I actually had a job there for a short amount of time when I was a teenager. And, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's like um, a little bittersweet to see that particular store go out of sale, I mean, go out of business because they used to have like, you know, the cutest little shoes and, you know, and of course, you know, they weren't name brand shoes, but that wasn't the point. I just liked their little shoes. They were cute and they were affordable, you know, different things like that. And it, that was like one of my first jobs. It probably was like my third job as a teenager, but it was, like I said, one of my first jobs. Well, anyways, um, so many businesses are closing their doors. And if you work in the retail business, or basically, if you have a job at all, you're going to need a plan B, you're going to need a plan C, you're going to need a plan D, you're going to need basically backup plans. And if you basically, if you have a job, you're just going to need another option in case that falls through. It doesn't matter how many degrees you currently hold, even if you're independent and you have a like um, a license where you can go work wherever you want to work, um, like a freelance. Um, you can go from office to office. What happens um, if the person that you work for decides they're having financial problems and they need to close their doors? Uh, let's say you work for a private practice and that attorney or doctor or whatever the case is, especially if you live in a small town or whatever the case is, um, they decide to close their doors. And that means maybe they had two offices, but it doesn't matter. Their name goes with them as long as it, along with your paycheck. So what do you have? It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter how much bank you're bringing home every week. Where are you putting your declining paper currency? That's the whole point of care bars. That's the entire point. I'm not selling cosmetics. I'm not selling items. I'm not selling items. And a lot of people, they, you know, they'll either, um, private message me and they'll ask me, well, how much does it cost? Well, one, freedom isn't free. It never has been free. Even when back in 
you know, back when we would still be fighting wars. It wasn't free then. So why would it be free today when there's actually money involved? But it doesn't cost anything to get into care bars, not a single dime. Doesn't matter what country you live in. We're care bars is in 140 countries and counting. 140 countries we're available in. And it doesn't cost you anything to get started. It doesn't cost you nothing to open up that free gold savings account. This is the only company that free really means free. You could earn free gold. The account is free. You could earn fiat currency, which is the money that you know that you go to work for every week or wh however you get paid. You can actually earn that just for telling others about carrot bars. There's not like an hourly position where you, you clock in and then you say, hey, I work for six hours, so pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me. It's not a job like that. This is a real stability, you know. So, like I said, we market freedom, not items. We don't sell cosmetics. We don't sell you know, travel vouchers, we don't sell, um, you know, t you know, I guess the, you know, the new fad is, it's like a weight loss tea where you can drink tea and supposedly you can lose weight, supposedly, but I've never tried the tea, but I'm pretty sure you can mix that tea up yourself with, with, with herbs and get the same results. But anyways, we don't sell those type products because we don't sell products at all. Our product is money. You go to work to basically slave for the money, but we already have it because our product is money. So, like I said, I entitled this going out of business because if you work in a factory or some type of retail company or a grocery store, wherever you work at, when those doors close, where will you be? It does, like I said, it doesn't matter how much you currently make. Are you putting any of that money into an appreciating asset? Any of it. And I'm not talking about a 401k. I am definitely not talking about a 401k. Because let's say you wanted to go get your money today from a 401k. Let's say there was an emergency that you needed your money right now on your 401k. How many hoops would it take for you to get that money today? And how much would it cost you to get that money from your 401k today? But here in Care Bars, you own what you have. It's yours. All you're doing is taking your 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 Declining paper currency, that's all you're doing. Doesn't matter if it's $5, $10, $50, $100, $25,000, $25, whatever you currently have, and you're exchanging it for an appreciating asset, and you own it. It's yours. So when that emergency does come up, you have what you need in your hand. You don't have to go write a letter. You don't have to go... Um, ask anyone. You don't have to make a phone call. You don't have to go down to a bank. You have what you need in your hand. If there was an emergency. I can't say that with a 401k. You can't say that. So, um, you know, Care Bars offers um, gold, 24 karat gold, and small affordable increments. I'm still trying to, I've been in care bars a year this week, a year this month, this week. And no one has come to me and said, well, Tiffany, you can go get that anywhere. No one has come to me. No one has private messaged me. No one has sent me a tweet. No one has showed me nothing where you can go get physical goal for five bucks with no strings attached. 
no one has showed me another site that offers you a free gold savings account where you can open it for free. You can deposit your money for free anytime you want. There's no fees whatsoever. And you can take it out whenever you want. There's no penalty. Not a single place. There's no minimums. There's no maximums. Like there's, I've, I've heard that there's, or rather I've seen with my own eyes, you know, through one of the other leaders, um, he showed a website, I forget what the name is, but um, in order for you to get that introductory uh, price for whatever the, I think it was like a gram of gold, you have to buy a certain amount of gold. With care bars, you can get as low as $5 and it's fine. It's fine. Like, that's fine. You can just go in there every week and get five bucks worth of um, cash gold. Excuse me. You could get five dollars worth of cash gold. Like, let's say you open up this gold savings account and, you know, you, this is all you could do every week was five dollars until you could do better. Or you could do ten dollars every week until you could do better. That's fine. Or maybe you're just saving up because you want to say, hey, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm not going to do what I used to do. I want to, um, you know, I want to, you know, start a small business. I want to, you know, get the business package. And let's say, you know, you put in $20 a week until you had enough to get, um, you know, the lowest package available. That's fine. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of like, you know, a layaway plan. That's what I see it as. And that's fine. Where other company can you do that? Not a single company. So anyways, uh, you know, um, when I used to uh, work back in, I want to say in the 90s, probably back in the 90s, probably when I first started working, the jobs are definitely not as plentiful as they they are now. Like when I was working in high school, I could basically quit my job and 20 minutes later, I could have another job. That's how confident I felt about getting another job that quickly. Today, you can't play that game. You quit your job, you're going to starve. You're going to starve because there is no more jobs. There is no more jobs. There isn't any more jobs. Um, that one particular store that I'm talking about, that shoe store, uh, you know, you know, it, you know, it went out of business, and I'm, you know, you know, I'm a little sad about that because, you know, that was one of my little, you know, fun stores that I used to like to shop at as a kid, and it's kind of sad to see it close its doors, but, you know, it's it's happening all over, and you and you see that other stores are being open in this place. But that doesn't mean that the economy is, you know, you know, is getting better or it's going to be okay. It's not necessarily going to be okay. And it doesn't really matter. You need multiple plans. You need multiple streams of income. So like I said, it doesn't matter where you work. When you get paid on Friday, always remember to pay yourself first. And care bars is so easy. It's so easy. All you have to do is go to www.stayathomewifey.com. The first step is to register for your free gold savings account after you've seen the videos, of course. The next, once you get in, you just save, refer, earn, and repeat. What's hard about that? That's all I've been doing for the last year. And there's so many ways to make money in care bars. And it's free to join. And we, like I said, we literally get paid to keep our own money. Literally get paid. And whatever commissions that, you know, we earn, they're uploaded to our properly issued, sorry, <laughs> Our privately issued Carrot Bars MasterCard. It's a prepaid MasterCard. So if you do decide to register 
Do not go and request this card thinking that it's um, a credit card because it's not a credit card. It's a prepaid card. So if you haven't did anything to, um, sorry, one, one day I'm going to be very good at the camera angles one day. I don't know what day it's going to be, but. Well, anyways, I think that's a good shot. It shows my name, and my number is covered up by my website sticker, and it says carrot bars. But this is not a credit card. Nothing to do with with uh, excuse me with carrot bars is affiliated with debt. Nothing, and that is a beautiful thing. Um, I really I'm I mess I just adore what carrot bars stands for. I do because it's the only company that I've ever, you know, dealt with that promotes not only independence, but they don't expect people to buy their products. Like, like I said, lotions, potions, um, cosmetic jewelry. They don't want you to, you know, you know, to put every, you know, their brand in someone's house as in a vacuum cleaner or, um, you know, whatever else other products that, you know, that, that, you know, that they used to do back in the day. And I try not to say, um, you know, the other companies things, you know, other big businesses, but you know what other people are selling, you know what you're selling. If you are a networker, you know what you're selling. Well, our product is, is money, money. I don't lug around stuff when I leave the house. I take my business card. This is what I take when I leave my house. I keep them in my car. I keep them in my car. I keep them in my purse. I'm going to be soon ordering a couple of um, personalized T-shirts couple of um, personalized t-shirts that has my website on it, you know, which is www.stayathomewifey.com. Trying to get it to focus, but there it is, I think. Sorry, my hand is shaking. Um, Anyways, you could I'll I'll put a picture in the comment section, but you've seen my car before if you've seen my videos before. Um, but that's all that I carry with me. That and my voice. I ask people, are you looking for more ways to make money from home? Do you keep your financial options open? And when they say yes, I say great. I just give them my car. That's all I do. I don't lug around samples. I don't do that. I just, well, sometimes, sometimes I show them, you know, the cash flow if they want to just see it and fill it in their hand, but I really don't like to um, take this out of the house, um, but I may start doing that in the future. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video really quick for the people who do work in retail. There are so many businesses that are going out of businesses, going out of business, excuse me, and you work at those places. And I know a lot of people will say, well, I'll just get a job through the temp service. I'll get a job at the temp service. Oh, what happens when that temp service goes out of business? Make sure you have what you need and your family needs. Carrot bars literally is the easiest thing on the planet. You register for free. You save you refer, you earn. That's all that you do. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, just wanted to make sure I mentioned everything before I close out the stream. Oh, I am looking for three people who are ready, that are serious and that are ready to open up their free gold savings account today. Those three people must have 
a valid passport or driver's license um, can't be expired. And I also need that, those people to have a proof of address must be dated within the last six months. It can be a utility bill, a cable, um, like a cable bill or a cell phone statement or um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a bank statement, if I didn't say that already. Um, a car registration, if I didn't say that already. And you can block out anything that you wish that you don't want them to see, but they obviously have to see your name and um, your address because that's where your gold is going to be sent. So sit with winners and the conversation will change. I promise you that your conversation will change. It is free to join, but never get it twisted. Tiffany Martinez is not begging you to join my team. I am not begging you to join my team. I am simply inviting you to take a look at this information that was shared with me a year ago this week. Because I want you and your family to have the same opportunity that was presented to me and mine. We literally are connectors. I, I, I mean, I have personally sponsored 50 people of my own, but I have over 50 people on my people on my team, excuse me. And those people are doing the same thing that I'm doing. They're connecting. They're building. It's not a difficult job. It's not, it's just a way to build stability in your family. And it's a way to make sure your family is well taken care of long after you are gone. Um, I think it was Mr. Delco's video where, oh, I have to see it again, but basically I forget the, the connection, like, um, if the person was already in care bars, but the person had basically had a death in the family and they were already up in age. Like, I think it was like the brother or something like that. And anyways, between, sorry. Um, I think every time I get a notification, the, the volume mutes. A little bit. Well, anyways, between be, between excuse me between three grown people like um, people who are sixty sixty and up, when whenever their sibling expired, I believe that's how the story you know was being told. Uh, between the three people, when their brother expired, you know, passed away they weren't able to come up with 10K to bury their brother between three people. And those people, well, technically it's four people, even though the brother expired, technically. So between four people, they weren't able to come up with $10,000 to give the brother a proper service, you know, you know, the going away costs, whatever is involved, you know, at the, at the funeral home, whatever that is. Well, anyways, um, they couldn't come up with $10,000 between four people who have worked probably since the age of 16, probably, excuse me, even if they started at 20, even if they started at 30, they still couldn't come up with $10,000 to give their brother um, a funeral. They couldn't, they couldn't come up with that. So that should tell you something. If you currently have a job, if you currently have a job and you don't have money in your account, then and I'm not saying this disrespectfully, but that means your job is the problem. Your job is the problem. Like I said, 
they couldn't come up with ten thousand dollars between four people even though one of the persons was already expired because it was his funeral but somewhere along the line he didn't have time in his life to sit down to you know get his money affairs in order to make sure he had enough money for his you know final cause so if you have children out there it's not fair to leave them with this burden if you're my age and you have children it's not fair to leave your children with this burden doesn't matter if you're a single parent doesn't matter if if you're if it's both parents in the picture it's free to open up the free gold savings account you can start saving and appreciating asset even if you don't want to do the business part of it that's fine every time you save in gold you're doing it for your family not only are you saving in an appreciating asset you're teaching them something that they will never learn in the schools. The schools will never teach them this. They barely teach them how to add and multiply, subtract, just basic mathematics. Yeah, a few of them will slip through the cracks and they will go off to college, but most will just go get another trade. And I don't want to make this too much of a rant because it's not going to be a rant video this time. I'm telling you, I have learned so much since I joined Care Bars last year. And if you're on my team already, I need to make sure, or you need to make sure that you're on the power calls every morning or you are catching them on the replays. Doesn't matter what country you're on, you're from, doesn't matter. They are available for you. We offer free training. And this is information that that was never ever taught to you before and this is for the entire world that's offered for free courtesy of Mr. Harold Seitz founder and CEO of Carrot Bars I'm not the first person who shared or you heard from Carrot Bars before by all means I'm not going to be offended if you get back with that person and you register with them, but chances are, if you're seeing it on my page, then I am the person who shared it with you first. So go ahead and go to www.stayathomelifey.com. This is my business card. It has my face on it. It has my cell phone number on it, and it has my website. I'm looking for serious people. I'm looking for people who are ready to change their lives forever. Not people who are going to sign up and just sit there and sit there and sit there. Because like I said, we don't sell products. We don't sell products. This is the most easiest thing that you could ever do and the best thing that you could do for yourself and for your family. And no, we're not a MLM, which is a multi-level marketing company. Uh, we are e-commerce company, just like Amazon and eBay. No, we're not one of those things, those pyramid schemes. For the gazillion time, when you ever think that Care Bars is affiliated with a pyramid scheme or anything like that, and if you have a job, <laughs> Take a look at your job before you ever compare carrot bars or pretty much any networking job to a pyramid scheme. Because if you haven't noticed, you're at the bottom as the worker. The next person up on that pyramid where you work at, because you're at the pyramid, is the managers. The person who's above the managers are, what are they called, um, the vice president and the president. And at the top of that pyramid where you work at is the founder and the CEO of that company where you would never be. So I guess I should make it more like that, but I can't. Um, I don't have a, a triangle, but you can imagine 
wherever you work at, you're at the bottom of your pyramid. And from what I've heard and understood at in care bars, pyramids are everywhere. You decide where you want to be at. You decide where you want to be at in life. And I already told you about that on um, that one particular couple or that that individual that expired. And between four people, between four people. Four people, I have four fingers up. Sorry, I don't have the camera angle. I have, between four people, they couldn't come up with $10,000 after working all of their lives. So that means they live from paycheck to paycheck all of their lives. All of their lives, they live from paycheck to paycheck. They wasn't able to save anything for themselves. Mostly because they wasn't paying themselves first. You know, and, you know, they live, or not just them, but people live with what, what was programmed in their heads was, um, well, I came into world with, in the world with nothing, so I'm going to leave with nothing. That's not true. Well, you, that's not true. Each family can be born into wealth, and it starts with you. There can be a wealth transfer. There will be a wealth transfer. There's always a wealth transfer. July 4th, 2019, there was a wealth transfer. Were you a part of it? If you were in care bars and you were actively working your business, there was a wealth transfer, excuse me. Whenever someone expires in your family, there should always be a wealth transfer. Man, I keep saying this. I keep telling my, I keep telling my husband, I wish my father was still here. He would, I tell you, he would run hand in hand with me with this. There wouldn't be a question. There wouldn't be a doubt in my mind. All I have to do is call up and say, Daddy, look, I just want you to take a look at this information and just call me back as soon as you're finished seeing the videos. And he would have signed up immediately. Immediately, my father would have just signed up for care bars, and he wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have took him nothing to invest in himself, because he's been doing that since since before we were born, since before my siblings and I were born. He's been investing in himself. So I'm not gonna make this about him, but. I'm telling you, as a friend, as one human to another, don't be that person that when you expire, especially if you have children, that your only option that you're going to leave is to go from me. When you have this opportunity that literally is free, that literally is free to join, you have an opportunity to pay yourself first every week. No, I'm not looking at notes. I'm just looking at my business card and the carrot bars, prepaid MasterCard where our commissions are uploaded and my business card. Um, but you have an opportunity to pay yourself first in an appreciating asset. And what that means is every time, you know how you, when you go to work, Excuse me. When you go to work and you get paid and you get paid and you're you I see your post. I see your post. And you say, Oh, I got paid today and that quick my check is gone. Okay. I get that part that your paycheck is, is gone that quick. But if you pay yourself before you pay your bills, then you'll have something left over. But you don't you don't save the money to spend the money. You save the money to build on so you can have something for the future. So your children and your children's children will have something for the future. So whenever you expire, every generation doesn't have to start over. 
How amazing is that? Like, how amazing is that? I wish there was a carrot bars. I'm telling you, I say that, like, um, not in every video, but I wish there was a carrot bars when I was 16. I would have signed up for free the way they have it now for free. And I would have been putting 10% of my paycheck into care bars. And it wouldn't have been nothing. I would have just been saving, saving. I would, I would have retired probably long before I was 30. Long before but I was 30. And I'm 43 now. Because it's that easy. You're paying yourself first and you're teaching this to your children. You're not teaching when you get 16, you're going to go get a job. Or when you blah, 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 you're going to get a job. And there, I shared a video on my page yesterday um, that you really should take a look at. You know, you really should take a look at it. It was, I believe, um, it was from Thursday, Thursday night from Mr. Michael Delco. It may have been Friday because I see things in the middle of the night. Um, he was talking about um, school, how, you know, your kid is basically programmed to go to school for eight hours, or that's how long the day is. You know, you're basically sending your kid, you're teaching them how to prepare themselves for the future, but not to be, a you know, a bright scholar, not to excel in life. You're preparing them to get ready for basically the plantation. You're basically preparing your children to to do what you're doing, which is to go out there and work for eight to twelve hours a day. You're 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 conditioning your children to you know get used to you know you know behaving in a proper way to sit down in their seats to obey. You know, they're trained you know, when the bell rings, you know, they move, they move, you know, it's like, it's well orchestrated. And I never liked school. I never liked it. I never liked it. I hated it. And by the time I reached my 11th year in high school, I wanted to quit so bad, but my mom never let me quit. I, I graduated in 1995, but I hated school so bad because it did feel like a prison. And but some people are going to see this, and they're not going to agree, and they're still going to send their kids to school. But you're not saying don't give your children an education. Homeschool is available. You can still give them the same education, but you could teach them yourself. Well, anyways, I don't want to make this video about that because I don't want to rant. But go register for your free gold savings account, and whatever you do in life, Stop listening to the they committee. The ones that keep telling you, oh, it's a scam. It's a scam. Your job is a scam. That's if you have a job. That's if you have a job. Your job is a scam. Your job is a scam. I've already explained that to you. Four people couldn't come up with $10,000 to bury their own brother. That's sad. I'm not picking on them. I'm not picking on them. And it's not their fault. But I'm telling you today, I don't know the people personally, but I'm telling you today to go to www.stayathomewifey.com. Follow the steps. It's free to join. Nothing's costing you anything. The same the the same price that you waste at a coffee shop or for a gourmet cup of coffee or um, a pizza or whatever is your pleasure you don't get that and you get freedom you get freedom today no one says you can't have what you want you find alternatives. You make your coffee at home. It's the same stuff. When I used to be really into, um, you know, the coffee shop beverages, I'm talking about really into it. You can you can go to my Facebook profile page if you're looking at this on Twitter or via YouTube. Um, my Facebook is my Facebook name is Martinez M. Tiffany. 
the word dot is not spelled out. It just has a dot behind the letter M. Anyways, um, you know, I used to be 430 pounds and I had like, or I still do, I have like these health problems. And I stopped drinking all these coffee shop beverages because I was hitting up that particular um, coffee shop about three to four times a week. Sometimes I was getting those those sugary drinks about twice a day. And the, the one particular drink that I liked, it was costing me about $7 each time. And if you like those drinks, then you already know how much your favorite drink costs you. Sit down and do the math. So when you say, oh, I can't afford to save, there's your money. Oh, uh, I don't eat. I mean, you know, um, I don't go to those coffee shops. Okay, well, you, you go through somebody's drive through at least two or three times a week. There, You have money. You just choose to spend it differently. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself one time. Invest in yourself first. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't ever be afraid to invest in yourself. So I'm going to close out this video and you guys have a very happy Saturday and be sure to go follow the steps on www.stayathomewifey.com. This has been Tiffany Martinez and until next time, take care.